Okay, going to get back to the roots for uh, Canteen Cup Tuesday. Going to use the uh, the official Canteen Cup and uh, going to use the alcohol burner and one of my wood burners. I've been burning wood in this one, but uh, works just fine, you know, for alcohol. And uh, yeah, going to get back to the roots. And uh, do an official Canteen Cup Tuesday. So we got the, the uh, stove. I'm going to put some alcohol in it. I'm going to fill it up maybe about at least halfway full right now. Because what I'm cooking is going to take a minute. But should have plenty of alcohol. No, no joke. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take and set the. Uh, oh yeah, what you figure? I'm gonna set the uh, stove inside of the. Which with the canteen cup I don't need the. Uh, the little crossbars, so I'm gonna just go ahead and take those off. Take and drop my. Uh, Stove right down inside, just like that, and uh, ah, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a sausage out first and get it cut up, cause it don't take but just a minute for that uh, stove to you know to start operating. Pull the sausage out. And today's meal is provided by uh, Dollar Tree. So they got these sausages in there. And uh, I'll show you here in a second what else is going to be in there. And what I need to do is take and, and chop it up and let it fall inside the canteen cup. Uh, get that open. And there's, there's what we're going to be cooking tonight, right there in that bag. Set the stove over a little bit. Get my canteen cup here, make sure it's in focus. And uh, see if we can get some sausage chopped up. sausage because uh, what I'm cooking is uh, can't cook the whole thing at one time the whole pack because the canteen cup is not big enough to cook the whole thing <clears throat> wonder if we're going to have any for the wildlife tonight I'm not sure I can keep it all Like I say, y'all, y'all see me do that there. That's cause my left hand. I can't really hold anything with the with the fingertips, so I have to like do that. But I am very careful when I do it. That was the last thing I want to do is cut myself. Cause this knife is sharp. Okay, I'll take and put my remaining sausage back in the the bag. Cause that's going to be for a future use for a cookout. Let's go ahead and wrap that up there. And uh, let's get the fire started. I got to get a lighter. There it goes. It's just started. Let it bloom a little bit, 
and uh, chances are I will be using my uh, simmer ring on this stove. So go ahead and get it cracked open a little bit. Have it set there ready. Then put the sausage on and um, <clears throat> all right here's where some of the little tips I got come in handy uh, let me get this here okay first off I do have the, the long handle titanium spoon and uh, but you don't always need that that's I use for cooking let me show you what I do because I'm, I'm cheap that way is I take some regular household forks and spoon I take a little hole in the end of it right here and uh, put me some paracord through it and then I'll just take and put a little hook you know a little carabiner on the end of it and got my fork in my spoon because I'd rather eat with these than anything else you know than with a titanium spoon I probably need to drop a little bit of oil in here ah I got my finger hung up in there already I just happen to have a little bit of oil right here Got to add a little bit of oil to it anyway. It don't take long to start cooking something in the in the cup. And these are hot sausages too, so. say it's, it's hard for me to use that left hand the way I want to but yeah long handled uh, spoon it's a lot better whenever you're trying to get down into something to cook Hey, yeah, looking good, done and in. And get the sausage all nice and cooked up. I'm gonna let that cook a little bit more, cause like I say, I like my sausage a little bit on the toasty side. getting there like I say you know some parts of this don't take long at all and then some parts take a little while because there is ingredients involved that does have to be cooked it's 
splash shoes around in there a little bit. But yeah, I like cooking with the uh, with the alcohol stove. It's one of my one of my favorites to to cook with. Like I say, I got that uh, that new gas stove of mine, and I do like it. Shake those around in there a little bit. Get my spoon, make sure ain't nothing sticking to the bottom. Oh uh, yeah, it's looking good in the neighborhood. Put that back on. Take a set and offset it a little bit so the handles don't catch that flame. See that flame on the other side of it? If you center that pot onto that stove, it's going to catch a lot on this, uh, on your handles. And, uh, that's not good. I mean, even though I've got a, a rag, you know, or gloves, I've even got gloves here. Just in case, you know, it does get too hot, you know, I can grab it. But hopefully I won't need the gloves. Check them sausages around. Look at them sausages. They getting right. that off for a second because I'm going to drain some of this oil out of here. I put a lot of oil in it basically to uh, to fry up those sausages. I don't need that much oil for what I'm going to be doing so they can drain some of that off. the uh, the other meal the meal out for calls for a cup of water and like I say this is my canteen right here you know it's a uh, water bottle holder and you can put a uh, two liter bottle up to a two liter bottle this is a one liter but you can put a two liter in it and uh, the thing I like about these, uh, you know, a lot of people probably already know, but the, uh, you know that little ring that's on the bottom of it? You pop that ring off, and you saw your uh, water filter screw right on to the top of it. And then, you know, it's, you could just use that. Put that back on, let that uh, start getting the ball to it. Hey, my dog barking, but he might be barking at me, who knows. barking at me because I don't see nothing. <laughs> Get that getting started on the ball. That's probably going to take a minute.
the juices are flowing in that water. That water is taking cook some of the juices from the sausage out a little bit more. And uh, get it nice and flavorful. But yeah, it seems to be full moon out tonight. And uh, still kind of cloudy from today. It sure was hot. That's why I ended up waiting until nighttime to, uh, you know, get, the, get a fire started, any kind of heat, extra heat going. The water's almost to a boil, so it's just about time for the, uh, the packet that I got. And there's the packet, and, uh, I'm gonna put it in. Oh, lordy, lordy. And a little bit went off to the side, but that's all right. We're going to get that settled. Yep. But that's the way it goes when you're doing Canteen Cup Tuesdays. You know, sometimes everything goes right, sometimes everything don't. That's okay. Still going to be some good stuff. Set my lid on for a minute. Let that come to a boil. I'll check my watch. Oh yeah, it's boiling down. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take and drop my same ring on. While that's simmering, I'm going to uh, not make you watch the whole time, so I will get back here in a second. Alright, <clears throat> it's getting to the point where it's getting just about done. At this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and
and uh, take the this lid off because that's going to be hot too right there. Or is that going to be hot? So somewhere right here, I got a pair of pliers. I'm going to grab this and close the center ring on it. And then I'm going to drop that back on it and snuff out my fire. And yeah, it's about about right. There's still a little bit of uh, alcohol still left in it. Not much. I mean, it's just right at the bottom of the. You know, I mean, it's just a little bit in the bottom, about maybe yet much. So that ain't a whole lot. I mean, it burns pretty good. Remember, let it cool down before you put your lid on. You're going to melt your little seal. Once this cools off, which, yeah, it's, it's a little warm, but it's not super hot. And once you take and uh, let it cool down, you can put your lid back on it and save whatever uh, alcohol that you still got. You know, for later use, uh, chances are it will just evaporate out. Uh, but that there cooled down pretty quick. Still a little warm on the the top part, but the little handles cooled off pretty much. That's how you usually, you know, cook your rice is you gotta like, you know, put it on boil for 10, 15 minutes. And then you just take it off and you let it set. And the hot part, you know, with the lid on it will capture the heat, plenty of heat inside of there. I mean, it's, it's still hot. And it will finish cooking the rice. Suck up all the liquid, come out real nice, and uh, everything will be okay. But that's the waiting part. Gotta wait. Always gotta wait on something. Should be down here doing some sheeting, but it's still pretty hot at night. You know, right now it's probably uh, still in the 80s. You know, could be mid 80s, but it's it's humid, really humid. Drink plenty of water. Plenty of water. All right. Let's see what it looks like in there. Ah, uh, yeah. rice see the lights so bright just 
press it down a little bit, baby. And, uh, but it's steaming. Oh, yeah. Sauce is a little spicy, but it's not like overwhelming. <clears throat> so there it is. Jambala sausage. Canteen cup Tuesday. Like I say, that's why I like I do like these uh, ones with the snap on lid lid. Because once you get done cooking, you snap your lid on. You can take this if you're on the trail or something. You can just take it, you know, flip it around, put it in your pack, and uh, keep on hiking. Okay, my stove's cooled off enough. I'm put my lid back on. Simmer ring back on top. Hold it down. Clip my titanium spoon back on my little hook. There you have it. I'm going to say with this little setup. Oh, it does have molly, molly straps on the back of it, so you can strap it to your pack if you wanted to on the side. Makes excellent, excellent water bottle carrier. Okay, I would guess that's about it. Other than I'm going to sit here and eat. So, uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Alright, y'all. Take it easy.